In a busy nursery environment, conflict is inevitable. The ability to resolve conflict is an immensely important skill for carers and for children. In high school settings, adults adopt a problem-solving approach to conflict. William, do you want to give that one back to George and then we'll go and find some more? Oh, what have you got, William? Have you got some more cars? To play in the sand? Did you go and get them? Yeah, oh, she's very busy at the moment, yes. OK, Can then, I bye. Can I ring her again? Oh, you want to ring her again? Olivia and Francesca both want to use the telephone. Olivia has it and won't share it. Oh, dear. Francesca looks a bit sad. Yeah. Olivia. Can you get another one? Oh, OK, then. This one. Oh, you got a big one. They have managed to find their own solution because they are familiar with the problem-solving approach to conflict. In high scope, disputes are seen as opportunities for children to develop skills in social problem solving. I gave him a <laughs> He's happy with that, isn't he? Here, Ollie's trying to take the chair from Olivia. Oh, Ollie, Olivia, what's that? Going on? First, Lisa establishes what the problem is. Sit on that chair, and where does Ollie want to sit? Yeah. Want to sit on this chair? Lisa has to try several options to find a solution that meets the needs of both Ollie and Olivia. She offers Ollie an alternative, but this is not satisfactory. Well, how about Olivia have a little go on that one, and then you have a go in a minute? Don't you want that chair? I want that chair. Uh, Ollie, Olivia, you've had a little sit on it now. Would you like Ollie to have a go? She suggests that they take turns on the chair. But Olivia doesn't want to give it up. And then you can have another go in a minute. But when she suggests that the spare chair is a seat on a train, this is a solution he finds acceptable. Look at that. Looks like a train. And they both take to this solution enthusiastically. Young children find it difficult to see other people's point of view. But Lisa has helped Ollie and Olivia to understand that they can still meet their own needs whilst respecting those of others. Sometimes the behaviour of children can be particularly challenging. John's response is to call Olivia away from the sand pit, so there is no barrier between them. He explains how her action has hurt him. Olivia realises that she has upset him, and the situation is resolved with a reassuring hug. In this dispute, Ollie has bitten George on the hand. John reacts quickly and calmly to this outburst. His language is clear and direct. He helps Ollie to see how his actions have hurt George. I know you wanted the pens and you were sad and angry, but we mustn't bite him, Ollie. He acknowledges Ollie's feelings, but he is very clear that this behaviour is unacceptable. Disputes do not arise out of children being deliberately spiteful or naughty. They are more the result of a child being too focused on their own needs and excluding those of other children. By using a problem-solving approach to conflict, children learn to see their actions from the point of view of other children. They learn that, with a little compromise, both sides can have their needs met. They also learn to deal with difficult emotions, like anger, in a constructive way. There you go, more Alfie. During these distressing incidents, they rely on your support very much. They need you to be constructive in your handling of the situation, rather than resorting to shaming or ridiculing them. They particularly need to feel that you understand they are having a problem, and not that you have withdrawn your support because you think that they are the problem. Long-term exposure to this constructive approach to conflict will equip them with the skills they will need to meet their own needs, without disregarding those of others.